two-digit by two-digit multiplication, believed by some to be the most challenging of fourth grade math. But how can we apply our understanding of the area model to double-digit by double-digit multiplication problems? In this lesson, you will learn how to multiply a two-digit number by another two-digit number by applying your understanding of the area model for multiplication. You know that using the area model helps us see and organize the steps of multi-digit multiplication problems. This problem says we're finding the total of six groups with 37 in each group. We take our two-digit number, break it up using expanded notation, along with the area model, to multiply each place individually. Then, we add those two sections back together to find our total product. In this case, it's six groups of 37 totals 222. So our final product, 222. Let's look at it another way. This says we're finding the total of 26 groups with eight in each group. This time, instead of expanding the amount in each group, I'm expanding the amount of groups to 20 and six. Now, it's the same process as before. 20 groups with eight in each group totals 160. And six groups with eight in each group totals 48. Same process, we put the two pieces back together to get a total of 26 groups with 8 in each group for a product of 208, which becomes our final product, 26 groups times 8 in each group, 208. Looking at 26 groups with 37 in each group means we need to think about both factors in expanded notation. 20 plus 6 multiplied by 30 plus 7. We'll begin with one large rectangle and the amount in each group. In this case, it's 37. Just as before, we're going to write it in expanded notation, giving each place value its own section. This time, because our amount of groups is not a single digit, we're going to record 26 in expanded form as well, giving both place values, the 20 and the 6, their own sections. Our next step is to fill in the number sentence for each section. I'm going to begin with the 30s column. 20 times 30 and 6 times 30. Now all that's left is the 7s column. In this upper section, we're saying that we have 20 rows or groups with 7 in each group. So the number sentence is 20 times 7, equaling 140. Finally, the bottom section says six rows or groups of seven in each group. So the number sentence says six times seven equals 42. Now, we need to put all of those pieces together to find the total of the large rectangle. Here's how I'm going to do it. I'll begin by combining the column of 30 in each row. So our first section is 20 rows of 30, totaling 600, and six rows of 30, totaling 180. Now when I add those two together, I get a total of 26 rows, 30 in each row, for a total 780. Now I'm going to move over to the sevens column. I'm going to add 20 groups of seven, equaling 140, to six groups of seven, equaling 42, for a total of 26 groups of seven, or 182. Notice that now our area model looks very similar to what a double digit by single digit model would look like. That's because what we just did was break apart 26 to make the multiplying easier, and now we've put it back together. So all that's left to do now is put back together our 30 and our 7. 26 groups with 30 in each group equals 780, and 26 groups with 7 in each group equals 182. Added together, 26 groups with 37 in each group which totals our final product. Take a moment to look over all the individual steps that we added together. You'll see that we multiplied four times. The common mistake you want to avoid, especially if you're not drawing out the model, is choosing the wrong numbers to multiply together. Students are often tempted to multiply the two values of one number. Think of it like a tag team wrestling match. 20 and 6 are both on the same team and they wouldn't wrestle each other. Same goes for 30 and 7. In this lesson, you have learned how to multiply a two-digit number by another two-digit number by applying your understanding of the area model for multiplication.